move out, but I thought it would be great if I did a dorm tour before I leave because I'm in the process of moving out right now into my next dorm. So like I promised, I'm going to do a dorm tour. So seven months later, here we are. So let's begin. Okay, so as we enter, we have the common area or in other words, the sink. This is where we usually like wash our dishes or wash our face, wash our hands. This is basically where you do everything since there is no like kitchen area. Uh, this is just the common space that we share. Pretty nice. It has a light switch here as to where the light will go on and then it's a lot brighter. And then you can also add like some command hooks to hang a dish towel. We usually use the top of a fridge for this like as extra storage. Um, right now, it's pretty much my stuff there, but before when before my roommates moved out, used to be a lot more. Same thing with the fridge. The fridge is actually pretty good at keeping stuff well. You just have to make sure that you eat it within a certain time. The freezer is really great. Uh, it's pretty messy right now, and as you can see, it holds a lot. So, um, yeah. I don't even know how there's so much stuff in there, but there is. And you can also, it's also magnetic safe, so... You can hang pictures or anything you want up there. Here we have the bathroom, which honestly is like looking pretty crazy right now because we did not do the best job of cleaning it, but the temperature gets really hot. So you don't have, to, and it gets hot fast. Um, it definitely won't look like this if you were to move in, but that's how it looks after. Uh, we added this command hook here just to like hang a towel, have a rug on the floor, it's pretty dirty. Um, and then this is just another rack. Um, moving on, we also put like a little bath mat there. Then I'll show you my roommate's room, which is room B. And they moved out, but this is what it looks like. One of my roommates had her bed raised here and she stored a lot of things under the bed and then have like a carpet space. Then they both have their desk here. Same thing with that. Um, the closets are next to each other, so um, that's just something to keep in mind as to where in my room it's a little bit different. Uh, these are really connected and then the person who has the left side has like all this room to themselves. As to where the person on the side, they can't really hang anything there. Um, but yeah, that's what this looks like. I'll do a little wide view. Uh, pretty big. It's the horizontal room. Um, the view is also pretty great. You can't open the windows, but that's park view across from us in the parking garage. And then, um, yeah, you can close or have the blinds like that. And the light comes in really great in this room. Pretty spacious. Then on to my side, I'm currently in the process of moving. So this is definitely not how it looked when I first moved in, but I definitely have acquired more things. Um, I just like to keep my kitchen stuff here. So like my cinnamon, my peanut butter, bananas, seeds, everything like that. Then I also have my vitamins and my camera bags and gym bag, book bag, uh, my little trash can under my desk. And then I also have this little beach chair and a lamp that doesn't work, but um, it's nice for decoration. I uh, hung a mirror here with a command strip and it stayed there pretty well. I thought honestly it was going to be too heavy, but it's fine. Um, I also have some succulents here that I got from an event and then also a draw back here where I just keep like little stickers and stuff. Uh, my laptop, ring light, uh, more plants, my jewelry, hair clip, etc, etc. Then I have the storage compartment over here where I just keep like my projector lights and books and other baskets. I have my diffuser running pretty much 24 seven. Um, then I have this little like table thing that comes with the bed. So I just, you know, utilize that to the max. I'm not tall, so nothing really falls, but if you're a taller person, it might. Um, but you shouldn't have to worry about that. Then for my comforter, just have my stuffed animals there and I hung up some vines and some of my art. And my bed is lifted, so I have some stored space under there. Um, right now I'm cleaning out, so there's not really much, but 
I keep my draws under there, I have my damp ray to keep it fresh. And yeah, I'm charging my video camera over there. And then, yeah, I have two rugs here just for a little style. More books I usually like lay on my bed, on my, I mean on my carpet. Then I have some clocks, some seashells, other decor, more of my art. And then this is my view, kind of the same. The light doesn't shine the same way as in here though. I'm not really sure why. Um, the draw space is really nice. Like a little thing as well. And then I usually keep like kitchen supplies under here because we do have a community kitchen. And then onto my closet where I, it never looked like this before, but um, just to give you a look of what it would look like if it's full, I like to keep my hamper up there and then have some other my iron everything like that there then i have my hangers my clothes i will say it does hold a lot more than i thought it would so that's great um yeah and then i just keep like extra towels i have little shoe racks with for cleaning supplies and then there's this little rack here that i usually put my towel on and my roommate's closet is right here at the side got a new roommate um same thing and she also stored her drawers in there because um, it just worked better that way. This side has like a longer um, wall space because this is where the door is on my side. So kind of same thing with room B where one roommate has like extra more space than the other. Um, what else? <laughs> That's pretty much it. I hung up some like more command strips just as shelves these are my essential oils um i use tape for this just to make sure like the command tape stays pretty well same thing with this like little hooks um have a little like polaroid roll right there and extra lights up here which are really great uh, There's a little like power outlet back there, but I usually never use it. So I had to get an extension cord. Um, I have like some plants here, but they weren't really doing good over here. So I moved them over there cause the air, like the air vent pushes a lot of the air here and the plants were just dying when I had them over there. But yeah, so this is what Panther Hall looks like. I hope you enjoyed have a little trash can right there as well. Um, there's also, I should mention, like a emergency button. If you press this, like it should dispatch and they'll come and help. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I also forgot to mention, I have like a bed padding under here, kind of like this one. I have like a bed padding under where I uh, well just helps like to feel the mattress better because you know it's kind of stiff so that really helps as a cushion the AC is pretty well in here is really keep it at 68 or 72 right now I don't know why it's at 75 and thank you so much for watching